Hello uh, YouTubers, um, this is an update on my uh, thermal electric light project. I'm going to slow down in this video and give a little more basic explanation of how I built this, some of the parts that I used. Um, you can see I did away with the individual LEDs that I did off of it. I'm going to come in here. This is the board that I started upgrading this board here and originally started off only had like four or five on there and then I added a few more and just wherever I thought it was a fairly significant amount uh, fairly significant amount of light but uh, I've, I bought it or I found an emergency light that had some LEDs you know it had two off in each direction and the battery pack in the middle and those are LEDs and that's a uh, about a six volt uh, LED head there and uh, just fit right in my copper tubing wheel uh, I put this brass piece here on up top um, and a little bit of an extension. Uh, I did the brass piece up top so it was a little easier to get the water into than just a small tube. Uh, I also kind of had the thought that I could take a 2 liter Coca Cola bottle and put ice in it, freeze it, and screw it in up here and it would stay cold for a long time. Uh, but what I'm doing is I'm just filling this up with water and the water is wicking that away, is wicking that heat up and away from that term, thermal electric generator on the bottom good enough to where it just stays running. Uh, we've had run times up to three and four hours so far. Let me show you what I did here. Now there's just two pieces of aluminum there and they're pretty thin. They're just a little over an eighth inch thick that I sandwiched one of the uh, thermal electric chips in between. And I just found these screws, and if you look at the bottom, them screws are coming through, and once I got them through, I countersunk them and make them good and flush. And then I made a tight 180 degree turn out of this piece of copper here. And uh, what I tried to do is I tried to line the chips up directly underneath this tube, so the center of the chip was directly underneath this tube, and the center of this chip was directly underneath this tube. And then that's just that a putty that I put, that two-part uh, epoxy putty that I put to hold that copper to that aluminum. Now the copper is setting and touching the aluminum. There's nothing in between it because the thermal conductivity of the putty is not really good. So I put the copper just right down on it and actually put it under a vise under pressure and epoxy that and let it set for 24 hours. This is just a small uh, heat sink that I had that uh, I also epoxy. And the heat sink is aluminum and it's setting right against the copper with a little bit of the putty holding in on. And uh, I didn't really plan on doing that plumbing configuration that you see there, that it just worked out that way. The reason I did it, these were shorter, and the reason I did it is was I was running the water in a loop to cool that one. Uh, but I didn't, uh, I didn't continue it in the loop because I found out that I didn't need to. So I just took, and I knew that I needed some more surface area, so that's the copper design I put together, and you can see the little offset that it got, and what it does is it structures the weight, keeps the weight right over the center, so it really, it really works out good, and the double tubes just give me more water. I've kind of checked to see how much water that will hold, and you know, and I don't think that that water would do as good if it was in just a square flat container, but because it's in a tube and it's uh, got the copper, which conducts the heat very well, it conducts the heat away from it, uh, oh, excuse me, very well. Now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to turn on my torch over here. I don't have my rocket stove here where I'm at, but I'm going to turn on my torch. You can hear me starting on a torch here. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to light this up so you can see how much light. And you can see I've got it full of water. The water's just right up to this, right there. And that's just plenty of water. And it, it, it keeps the heat wicked away really nice. I like that because you don't have, you can detach and, and just set that on the stove or set that on the, you can even, I've set it on a burner at uh, electric stove and it works really nice. I'm going to go ahead and heat this up here and what I'm doing is I'm warming this up with a torch. And 
and there it comes and you can see that is significant amount of light and I'll set it on the countertop and it'll cool pretty quick but that is a significant amount of light I don't know exactly what it is in candle power but in my estimation I would say it's anywhere from 25 to a 35 watt equivalency of an incandescent uh, which is uh, fine and you can see even with it sitting there on the countertop which it might be melting the countertop no I'm not that it's still running really nice uh, and there it cooled on off so yeah um, I, I think that's a successful attempt um, it, if it burns out I'll, I'll come back and let you guys know if it burns out over time if that turns out to not to be um, enough water uh, I've checked the water volume I think it holds a little over six ounces of water but that six ounces in those tubes really seems to have that wicked away pretty good so anyway uh, I think that uh, was a fairly successful attempt at a uh, thermoelectric light uh, what does it take to put that together you know a lot of this copper was stuff that already had elbows welded in it uh, or soldered in it that I just uh, cut and pieced together so it was some not a lot of that scrap I didn't go out and buy that copper but still it's not that much copper to put together okay uh, thanks for watching got any uh, questions or comments just leave them below uh, I'd be uh, happy to see somebody else's attempt at something like this I've seen light attempts but not necessarily one that would uh, just set right on the rocket stove or top of wood stove I even thought about off of this here I could go to smaller and put a uh, a deal on it where I could actually put a little lampshade if this was pointed up I could actually put a little lampshade on that and it would really look like a little lamp and if, a, if you put a small base skirt around the bottom to hide that you know you could really make that look like a little lamp without a cord and just set it right on a wood stove or rocket stove and it would uh, do really good so anyway thanks for watching